This is tutorial 11-4. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to extract roster value points. Uh, what this we're, we're going to do is we're going to use some existing data to be able to predict where heart attacks may occur. Uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is using a search for a tool, and we're going to type in extract values to point. We want this one right here. And we want to choose OHCA and the kernel 1500. And we're going to be adding this once again to our Chapter 11 Geo database. And we're going to call it OHCA predicted. And we're going to choose this second option right here. It explains what it does right over here. It's basically doing a lot of math that we don't have to do. Now these are what they consider expected uh, areas where they sh there will be heart attacks. As you can see, a majority of them fall in the red areas and all the way to yellow, with a few in the green. Now we're going to open up uh, the attribute table, and they want us to add a new field called predicted. They want us to make it a float. And if we come down, this is where it is. And we're going to use the field calculator. Now they want us to put five times. And this is a five year study, so that's why we have the multiplier of five. And this right here, because uh, this roster value is the estimated estimate of heart attacks per square foot in the vicinity of each block and then we're going to times it by the air total area so we're going to click OK and there we go we're done with this now so we can X out of there and we're going to now select by attribute because we're uh, actually I'm going to open up the attribute table because I want to show you something real quick. If we come over, these are all positive numbers, but if we come all the way down here, we get a lot of negative. So um, we're going to do something that gets rid of those. And that's why we're doing this selection by attribute. And we're going to choose predict, predicted, our new field is greater than or equal to zero. And we're just going to click OK. And as you can see, it highlighted everything except this little cluster right here. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to export this data. And we're going to put it in our geo database. And we're going to call it predicted two. And we're going to add it. And now that we have that one there, we can turn off the old one. OK, and so these are the predicted heart attacks of the area. And what they want us to do now is they want us to create a scatter plot graph of actual versus predicted heart attacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to view, graphs, and we're going to create. 
and we're gonna be doing a scatter pl plot. And in the Y field, we wanna use yes. These are actual heart attacks. Then we are going to go down and have the X be our predicted. And we're just gonna get rid of the legend there. What this is saying is that this is not a good correlation. If it were, there would be a good line right about here going across. This, it's very clustered and it's, it's just not a good scatter plot. So that's it for this tutorial.